The Learning Online Network with Computer Assisted Personalized Approach has been very helpful for my classroom and for many classrooms around the globe. And I'd like to share with you some of the distinctives of this today. In 1992, there was enacted the Computer Assisted Personalized Approach, a pilot program that uh, gave students personalized problems, quizzes, and exams for their class. In 1997, the Lecture Online Project was enacted and enabled an interface for student interaction and course administration. And then in 2001, both were combined together to form the current Lawn Kappa network and is still used today. This is an overview of the Lawn Kappa services, and today we're really going to highlight the how this can be used in a typical classroom setting and for instruction. And more information about these services here can be found on the website at the uh, at the end of the presentation. This is the login screen for myself and for my students. Our class is hosted by Florida State and my students will go to this screen and, and sign in individually for, uh, for their class. When I sign in, I'll select the role that I'll have and so for the different types of classes I have different classes set up and so as I go in you can see the two types of classes I have there and so I can select the type of class that I want to uh, take control of or manipulate for our, our class. In terms of uploading users it's very easy to upload users. We can put in a CSV file with their first and last names as well as their student IDs. And when they first log in, they can use their student ID as well as a password to get in. And so once they're in, they can personalize their preferences. And teachers have control in terms of being able to reenact or uh, reset passwords for students that lose their information. So the network consists of many problems that were created, um, tens of thousands of problems in fact, created over uh, the past many years from all over the world. And so this is an example of a conceptual type of question used for my physics class. And so when the students work through their questions, they will select their answers and then click the submit answer button. And this is another example here where uh, a student put in an answer, but it was incorrect. And so you can see the number of tries there, which the instructor has control on how many tries they want their students to be able to have before the final answer is given. So it's very nice in terms of being able for the student to be able to get immediate feedback on how they're doing with the question. And so these resources come, like I said, from many institutions, universities, and schools around the world and so you can see here in this diagram educator E is contributing questions as well as using questions from other authors and that's one of the the biggest benefits of this network is being able to to have these qu questions from all over the world that are uh, enacted in this uh, in this network it's very easy to import these questions and these can be imported directly into the the class and so with the import link here you can go to this display and so this is an example of a resource base here and so teachers can go to any of the the hosted sites and, and choose questions that they'd like to use for their class and so this is an example of another example of a question here that can be imported and once it's imported the class will have the questions there and then the teacher can control the opening date the closing dates as well as the weight they want to put on the questions for each of the different sections this is for the quantum physics section in my APIB class and the maximum number of tries and whether you don't know, want the answer to be shown or not at the end of the maximum number of tries if they still don't get the answer correct answer 
the well, many questions are set up with an algorithm where each of the students receive individualized numbers that they will need to work out those individual problems on their own which is which provides a really really good opportunity for a knowledge community where the students uh, if they're struggling with a certain type of question can discuss the question without just getting the correct you know the, the quote unquote correct answer and putting that in to get the the uh, the submission and get the grade and so they can also send information to the instructors and in the sending feedback and this is what the instructor will get from a student if they have an issue with the question or if they have some personalized problem with the question and then the student can also post a discussion which you can see here and when they do that they will be able to dialogue with their peers and really be able to have a greater understanding of what's going on with the question as other peers can help the students that are struggling. And so in this screen, this shows the uh, progress feedback from students. And so the teacher can go in here and see how their students are doing. As you can see, there are a couple of my students there at the bottom. The ones mean that they got the answer correct. The zeros mean they tried it but did not get the answer correct. And then on the right hand side, that gives you the total this case out of 76 so this is in the middle of a, a unit here so these are the listing of the resources the top website www.lon-kappa.org is the best, best place to get started if you're interested in getting this going for your classroom and the bottom link is linked to our hosted class at Florida State